In Inkscape, objects and paths are what we'll use to create, combine and modify in order to achieve a desired end result. In Inkscape, objects and paths are the fundamental building blocks to get that final export. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at 1. What are objects and paths and how they relate to Inkscape and 2. What's the difference between an object and a path? Objects in Inkscape are predefined shapes, text, and so on that can be directly edited by the tool that created them in the tool control box. Objects are in most cases Inkscape specific features, meaning they do not explicitly belong to the SVG standard, but are created to aid the designer in their workflow. For example, the rectangle tool. The rectangle tool has a circular node at the edge of the box. This circular node allows the user to curve the edges of the box. This feature is an Inkscape specific feature and does not belong to the SVG standard. Objects also have their own list in the Inkscape menu. Paths on the other hand are the objects in their rawest and most editable form. When all nodes are exposed and free to be transformed as the user or designer wishes. Paths are the complete set of nodes that make up the shape. All objects can be converted into paths. Paths are SVG standard specific and thus will have a better chance at retaining their form when opening other applications that use SVG. Let's take a look at what happens to the rectangle object when it's converted to a path. Notice, the toolbox control can no longer edit the box. Once an object is converted to a path, it cannot be changed back into an object unless you undo the operation. Paths, like objects, have their own list in the Inkscape menu. 